I think that it's okay to wear whatever you want to wear and not cut your hair and grow it down your butt if you want to. When did you start saying butt? I think it's obvious why I was chosen. They got six of the biggest characters they could possibly find and then threw Joe Average in there to laugh. <laughs> cool, let's go. Thank you, have a good night. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one guy had a really cool Harley Davidson. It was like kind of turquoise and white. And it's not like I'm some you know, gearhead or anything like that. I just, you know, they're kind of interesting. I felt like there was a good opportunity there for me to get to ride one, so I just kind of beg and talk him into it. I love Julie. I think she's really, really cool, and she definitely charmed everybody. Well, she charmed me. <laughs> like, here's 57th Street, and then here's so 56th. Right? No, no, it's so simple. How will I know where to get off? Which way? I guess I have a really bad sense of direction because I'm totally turned around, and I don't know which direction I'm going or facing at all. I was late. <laughs> I was real late. Very unprofessional, I realize. But I was very glad just to see the door. <laughs> when I heard on the radio that there was an audition for an MTV show, all I was thinking was, yes, here's a chance for me to get out of Birmingham and, you know, just a ticket out, ready to get some kind of career going. My dancing is, you know, something I enjoy. It lets me be really creative. Eric ended up going to the hip-hop class with me. Right the day I moved in, he was like, you know, I might want to go take a class with you, you know, this funk class or whatever, you know, I might want to go. And I was like, great. And got time to go, and I was like, well, Eric, let's go. And he was like, oh, no, I'm not going. I was like, what? No, no, you have to go. So he's like, well, I'll go watch, just because you're, you know, bugging me about it, but I'm probably not going to take it. He had no clue what was going on half the time, and he was just getting out there and, Know, doing his stuff and he was just wiggling and messing up and falling down and I was really impressed. I lost your number. Oh, that's cool. I did. Now I called your mother. Oh, all right. Is that his honey, his skin? Is she a skeezer? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Yeah. Can you shut up? In the beginning, Heather just came across really bitter to me, really upset towards things. And it's just been so much fun getting to know her. Who is this? Um, Gregory. Probably I should ask for Greg. Yeah. Can I speak to Greg? Greg, oh my gosh, this is Louise. I want a trip to Jamaica. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, I leave the 27th. Can you believe it? I'm going to Jamaica. Oh, I just... Well, I still gotta call all my friends and tell them, no, I gotta go. But bye, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Louise with a southern accent. You have $3? You have just $3. Is that bad? Is it gonna be How more than that? You? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I brought Julie Becky to the art opening because a, a friend of mine um, who I, I respect a lot, William Rand, was having a piece in this group show. Oh, those artists were so phony. They weren't even looking at the art. They were running around. It was just a social event. Maybe we should do that when your kids come over is turn flowers into food. Last Sunday, we were in the park, and Julie told me that she had came into one of these Reaganvilles where, you know, everyone has kind of been thrown out of their homes and evicted, and they live in cardboard boxes on the river. It's a great day. Do you want to have like me? No, it's Never a really nice anybody. dog. Really sweet dog. What's your name? I'm Julie. I'm Dolly. How long have you been living in New It's going to be a year. At a the... year? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. One thing I think about Julie is that she's really um, sincere about trying to understand and trying to help people. Well, what if I spend the night with you one night down here? You can. Can I? Yeah. I'll be cool with you? Yeah. It's just a lot more real than, you know, when you give somebody change and walk away. You know, it goes a lot farther than that. And I, I guess I just got a better understanding of what, you know, you basically already know that 
Who's to say that I couldn't be Darlene if I didn't have the family that I have and the friends that I have to support me? We went roller skating at the Roxy. Mm -hmm. They played kind of like disco -y music, and uh, uh, there's a lot of homosexual skating there. Mm -hmm. Isn't that funny? I've never seen gay people a lot like skating to disco music now. <laughs> I mean, that's just not a common thing. Not in Alabama. Not, and another thing about the South, you get arrested if you pee on the street. Mm -hmm. Here is just very common. People pee on the street. Oh, yeah. Julie, how normal are you? Do you do the right thing? What is the right thing when it comes to matters of sex, sleeping, and toilet? And toilet? I have my own business. I do self-employed. Yeah, ceramic tile, marble, granite. Very self Do you want marble up that wall on the stucco? I'll do it. Hey, look over at that pontoon over there. That what? See, they're up and down. The reflection is different off some piles. Bad job. Finally, after an hour with this guy, she got up and left. And then he asked me, well, is she coming back? And I was like, no, she's not coming back. I mean, don't you get it? What are you doing? Seen checking for muscle content. What? I think you have a sturdy frame. Is that what you look for in a woman, a sturdy frame? Yes. I also have wide hips, so I'd be great for breeding. <laughs> Do you? You have a tremendous capacity for someone 19 years old. For someone you anyway, are but so, for 19. You're obsessed with that. Did you call me dad? <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting at the table and he starts saying things like, oh, I'm old enough to be one of your college professors. <laughs> Who cares? There's a camera sitting here. My mom's gonna be watching this. Shut up, buddy. <laughs> Heather, Julie, and I decided we were gonna check out the nude beach. Norm told us that the whole place was nude. I take my video camera, we're gonna capture the moment. And I'm sitting there in my swimsuit, you know, with my video camera, and Heather's going, you are gonna get beat up. All right, Heather, take it off. Go cut the camera off. I go out in the water, and this man comes over and, you know, tells me, you know, you've got, like, the best breast out here, you know, do you mind if I touch them? Well, yes, get away. What? what? I just wanna know if he was thinking, oh, sure, go right ahead, yeah. No, get out, get lost. My mom's saying that she's coming the weekend after Easter. And, you know, the whole thing with my family is you just can't believe it until you see it because anything could fall through at any second, which could be good. <laughs> Mom, you finally got here. Well, why don't y'all come here? You, you don't want to come here? I already feel like I'm in trouble. Cause I told you that mothers, they need to walk around with a gun and a badge. <laughs> Mom. M O M. Are your parents going to be staying here? Both? Staying in the law. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nobody can bring up my temper like my family. For real? Julie's best quality is that she's honest and sincere. It's not a black yes, white issue. Is. Hell! Yes, is. Get out of my face! I'm Why so is that? sick of this! Let me think Thanks, hard, Doc. I think when I came up here, I had career goals as well as personal goals. I feel like I met more personal and emotional goals than I even wanted. But at the same time, I sacrificed a lot of career goals. You need to decide where you want to go, whether it's going to be Broadway or whether it's to do like television or videos I'll or whatever. I'll television and videos. I mean, huh? I've always thought that it would be television and videos, yeah. not Broadway. OK, but you know, videos is not that much money. Right. Uh, you know, Julie's a little more, I guess, hip to certain things that she wasn't before. Not like she wasn't hip or anything, but she she learned more about the city and about how people react. And, uh, you know, a lot of kind of uh, delusions of youth are kind of washed away. We are getting to new lows tonight. You want to get naked tonight? We're getting naked. You don't think I got it? I know you got it. I got it. I'm a man. Eric was being loud and obnoxious, and I was just like, I wish he would just shut up and go sleep. But then I thought, oh, I need to listen to this and absorb, because I'm not going to hear it, you know, soon. Just because you're in New York and you're, and you're away from home doesn't mean that you necessarily have to change. But anybody who can come from Alabama to New York, it's got to be tough. Got to be.